There is a French patent application number FR 2680613, dated the 19th of August 1991, entitled Activator for Isotopic Transmutation, at which provides some very interesting information. The system described <coughs> is a self-contained solid-state energy converter which extracts large amounts of energy from an ordinary iron bar. This is also shown in Czechoslovakia patent number 284333. In principle it's very straightforward and simple. You have got what is effectively a U-shaped piece of soft iron with a soft iron bar or rod spanning between the ends of the U-shaped piece. There are then three coils wound on it, uh, cunningly designated coil 1, coil 2 and coil 3. Uh, that's what it looks like in a side view. The end view is very straightforward. It's just see, you just see the piece of the side piece of the vertical part of the U and the iron bar penetrating through the end piece. From the top view, the, the thing is pretty much the same. You have effectively got your exterior piece of uh, soft iron supporting the iron rod with the coils 1, 2 and 3 shown exactly on top of it. The inventors, Mayer and Mace, described the technique as an isotopic transmutation effect as it converts ordinary isotope 60, sorry, it, ordinary isotope 56 iron to isotope 54 iron, releasing large amounts of electrical energy in the process. This excess energy can, they say, be used to drive inverters, motors, or generators. The description of the mechanism which is being used by the device is described this way. The in present invention uses a physical phenomenon to which we draw attention and which we will call isotopic transmutation. The physical principle applies to isotope 56 iron, which contains 26 protons, 26 electrons and 30 neutrons, giving a total mass of 56.52 although its actual mass is 55.80. The difference between the total mass and the actual mass is therefore 0.72 MeV, which corresponds to an energy of cohesion pure nucleum of 0.012857 MeV. So if one introduces an additional 105 EV of energy, to the iron core, isotope 56, that core isotope will have a cohesion energy level of 0 0.012962 MeV per nucleon, corresponding to iron isotope 54. The instability created by this contribution of energy will convert the isotope 56 iron to isotope 54 iron causing a release of two neutrons. This process generates an excess energy of 20,000 EV since the iron isotope 54 is only 0.70 MeV while isotope 56 has 0.72 MeV. To bring about this iron isotope 56 conversion we use the principle of nuclear magnetic resonance. The practical method for doing this is by using three coils of wire and a magnetic path closing support in of, for, of a frame of iron as shown in the diagram. In this arrangement coil 1 produces 0.5 tesla when fed with DC, converting the iron bar into an, an electromagnet. Coil 2 produces 10 millitesla when fed with a 21 megahertz alternating current sine wave signal. Coil 3 is the output coil providing 110 volts, 220 volts 
or 380 volts AC at about 400 hertz depending on the number of turns in the coil. This simple and cheap system has the potential for producing substantial energy output for a very long time. The inventors claim that this device can be wired to be self-powered while still powering external devices. Coil 1 turns the iron rod into an electromagnet with its flux channeled in a loop by the iron yoke. Coil 2 then oscillates that magnetic field in resonance with the isotope 56 iron atoms in the rod, and this produces the isoconversion and release of excess energy. Coil 3 is wound to produce a convenient output voltage. The patent application is written in French, and the following part of this document is an, an attempted translation from French to English.